All right, again, we're partnered with GBMC Healthcare tonight, working to answer some of your questions about the coronavirus. And right now we have Dr. Theodore Bailey, Chief of the Infectious Diseases Division at GBMC with us in the studio. Thank you very much, Doctor. Thanks for having me. Talk to us about this vaccine. I know there's a rush to create a vaccine for COVID-19. Obviously, if there's one developed, will GBMC offer it? Well, we certainly would if it's tested. I mean, this is something that has a certain set of precursors. It has to be proven to be effective. Mm -hmm. It has to be proven to be safe. And we have to know wh who would be the people who would benefit from it. And you think about the rush for everybody gets the, not everybody, excuse me. A lot of people get the flu vaccine every year. Sometimes they're more effective than others. I guess maybe this could fall into that same category. Well, so with the flu, the flu changes every year. Right. And so even when you develop a vaccine against a particular thing, you want to know, is this going to last? Is it going to be usable over time? You have to know not just does it work now, but is it going to help? how long will the protection, even other vaccines, we give boosters for. Mm -hmm. And so with those, we've had enough experience with those other kinds of infections to know when the booster should be given. But we wouldn't have that knowledge with this virus. Mm -hmm. It's too new. Right. So what are the best ways to protect myself from uh, COVID-19? Well, we know it's a respiratory virus, so we know it's transmitted primarily by respiratory droplets. Those are droplets that tend to fall somewhere in a four to 4.5, maybe up to six feet out from a person. So social distancing, staying six feet or more away as long as you can around from other people and just not going out unnecessarily. So mm -hmm. staying where you are uh, as long as you can. You know, early on, there was a rush for hand sanitizer. I mean, you can't even find that in stores now. Is that more effective than good old fashioned soap and water? They're both effective. And the thing about the alcohol is that you can take it with you. Mm -hmm. So if you are out in the world, out and about, it's much easier to take out your bottle and do a 15 second thorough rub with it than it would be with uh, soap and water. But both of them work on this type of virus. Mm -hmm. Now with uh, the rush to find uh, hand sanitizer since it's gone, you hear uh, things online about people making their own hand sanitizer. Any thoughts on that? Well, that would be an uncontrolled process and we really wouldn't know what the contents of it are. We do know that alcohol based and we're talking typically about 70% alcohol content or higher, uh, is going to be more effective. This is a virus that has an outer coating that's very susceptible to being dried out. Mm -hmm. And soap and water as well as alcohol are both effective against it. Uh, could other ingredients be? There's, there's really not good evidence that that's the case yet, and I wouldn't rely on things that aren't proven yet. Mm -hmm. What about takeout? A lot of people are concerned about maybe somebody who has the virus touching your food or something that you order online. Well, the virus can adhere to surfaces and can persist sometimes up to a few days. Uh, so one of the other parts of general prevention is just cleaning surfaces. Could something be on a box? It's not impossible. Mm -hmm. All right. So a lot of it's just using some common sense and, again, washing your hands. Yes. All right, Dr. Bailey, thank you so much. Our experts are standing by right now to take your calls. That number, 410-671-0702. GBMC Healthcare, standing by to take your questions about the coronavirus.